Welcome to Total Firearms TV. I'm Josh from Josh Makes Movies. This is going to be a brief overview of the Raven R20. It is a crossbow like pretty much like no other crossbow. This is just going to be a basic overview. I'm going to show you guys a couple shots. I actually did a review on this. It's going to be on my channel. I'll make sure they put the link down below so you guys can see all the statistics that I ran on it and, and so on. This is going to be strictly what you guys get when you buy this. All the options that you have when you do buy this, you know, what you can do with it, what you can put on it, etc. And then you guys can just come down to Total Firearms and pick one up for yourself. This is basically the sniper rifle of crossbows. It's known to shoot small groupings at 100 yards. 50 yards, 20 yards, obviously, you're going to knock those down too. It shoots 430 feet per second with a 400 grain bolt. It has a power stroke of 13 inches. So basically from here to here, it's only 13 inches. So it's pretty short. And then it has 164 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. So it's, it's pretty powerful for a crossbow. The draw weight on this thing is only 12 pounds. So when you're drawing this, you use a crank here. And then when you're drawing it back, you really only have about 10 pounds of pressure on the outside of this crank here. My daughter, she's eight. She was able to crank this back by herself last night. For me, I felt that it got a little bit tougher at the end, but she was able to crank through and she got it pulled all the way back. So from here to here is 10 and a half inches when it's uncocked. When it is cocked, it's only six inches. So it's very narrow. If you hunt from a, in a closed blind or a raised blind, you can make very small holes to shoot through. So you don't have a lot of movement when you're in the blind and you spook the deer, spook whatever animal that you're hunting. Now the length on this is 34 and a half inches. It's pretty long, but it's like I said, it's, it's, it is literally the sniper rifle of crossbows. So, you know, anybody that knows anything about, you know, long range shooting, usually long range shooting guns are gonna be longer. So therefore, it's probably the same science that goes into any kind of long range rifle when they built this bow. It weighs 7.1 pounds. And I assume that's with the scope and everything. It could probably weigh more than that if you decided to put a bipod on it or whatnot. As it is, it weighs 7.1 pounds. Now, before you leave the store, you need to have this in a case. I don't know if that's for all states, but at least in the state of Michigan, you need to have a case. A Raven case runs around 89 bucks. They have a soft case, and then the hard case costs this much. I don't know how much it costs off the top of my head. So when it comes to accuracy, this thing is accurate. There's a reason that they make targets that have multiple bullseyes on them because that's what I should have been shooting at was different bullseyes. I was trying to get a reference for how much impact it would have. This one was actually inside the target. I couldn't even see this, actually, to be honest. I couldn't even see this. I was just aiming at the center of the bullseye. I hit it and then this one was inside and then I shot this one and I shot this one without a flashing because the impact was so strong. I was shooting this last night at 50 yards and it was still going through my target. So when I pulled it out, it ripped the fleshing off. Unfortunate, but it still made this shot at 20 yards afterwards. It doesn't get much more accurate than that. It has a quiver mounted to it, and as well it has the crank here. I don't know what they actually call the crank. I've been calling it a crank or a reel or whatever you want to call it. I like to use two hands and then it just pops right off. Real simple, same thing with putting it on. You gotta have, there's a button here. Push that button in, and then you just push it in there. Same with the crank. Very, it's real quick. Now, I was able to do it with one hand, but it wasn't quite as easy as when you do it with two hands. With two hands, I can get it off real quick. One hand, I kind of had to wiggle it. And I don't know the zoom on the scope, I'll have to ask. But it does come with a, uh, an illuminated scope. So the illumination is red or green, and it does come with this package. Also has the rain protector flip-ups. It's probably the same scope that comes with all the Raven crossbows, but it, Basically, you make the adjustments by how many feet per second your disposal shoots. I'm going to go to some B-roll footage from my review, and I'm going to show you guys how easy it was to crank, cock, uncock, and then as well do some shooting real quick. You turn the crank a little bit forward, tension, and there's a button right here. Push the button forward. From there, you can let it go. Push it back in. Push this all the way down, so it's going to snap into place. Put that forward. And we're actually, it's not too bad. I was a little worried. Now, I wouldn't let my daughter do this part, but
it's not that bad at all. Now you want to definitely make sure you check out my review, it, it was explosive. We're going to have a lot more videos coming to Total Firearms TV, Total Firearms YouTube basically. Make sure to check them out, make sure to subscribe because if you guys are interested in a lot of products, you know, you can come down here and you can ask. They have great salesmen, they know pretty much everything, they're very knowledgeable about their products. But for the most part, you know, we're going to be putting reviews up, check them out, come down and see us, pick up the stuff that you see in the reviews. Thanks for watching, comment down below. Let us know what you guys would like to see an overview or a review of, and then we can make sure that we put that in our priorities in the future videos. So thanks for watching. Comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe. See you again shortly.